Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. It's time for another collab with Ernie C3, and today we've got some pretty cool things to show you. Thanks, Ash. So far, we've covered the Dark Prince and the Magic Archer and how to dominate with these cards in ways you may have not seen before. Both of these cards are known to have an above average to high skill caps. So we'll be continuing that trend with Clash Royale's newest card, the Electro Dragon. So the Electro Dragon is a flying troop with moderate health and moderate damage. However, he has the ability to both attack and stun three units at a time. We're predicting that the card will become popular in Royal Giant, Golem, and Lava Loon decks, but that's not to say that it couldn't be right for your deck. With his complexity, there's going to be a bunch of ways to use him in the arena, and he's a card that requires you to specifically know how his mechanics work in every way. Well, you can't deny the facts, but if you think he's great now, you haven't seen anything yet. Let's show you six ways to dominate with the Electro Dragon. Understand his role. Don't use him as a soul push destroyer, but rather a strong push weakener. Remember that using a lightning spell, you may kill off three troops, but you really don't have any say in the matter due to lightning's rule of only striking the three healthiest units in the radius. Now here, you're spending five elixir on a unit that can continuously attack three troops infinitely and counter push. Now, of course, there are benefits to the lightning over the Electro Dragon, but this is the Electro Dragon video, so we're gonna stick to his strengths. Another one of them is that he stuns his targets as well. So if you need to use him in a pinch to protect your lower health princess tower, go ahead and do so. Oh, and a small bonus tip, just like Sparky and Zappies, who show when their next attack is ready via visual markings that light up, the Electro Dragon has that too. His three back spines and his nose horn will all do the same thing to show when he's about to attack. It may be hard to see his nose through the health bar, it may get in the way, but even in the back spines should be enough. Who knows, this could help you someday. When used with an Ice Spear or Skeletons, the Electro Dragon can completely kill two of the split three Musketeers. However, if you want to kill all three, then use the Tornado along with the Mini Tank. As a bonus, if you take down one of their towers and their Electro Pump is still in front of their King, you can use the Electro Dragon to hit the Pump and the King Tower. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> For an equal trade, he's a pretty good counter to the Royal Hogs due to his multiple strike and stun abilities. If you want to prevent even more damage, then simply combo with an Ice Spirit or a Skeleton. While you are losing one elixir on the trade, it will prevent even more damage and you'll have a surviving E-Drag going down the same lane that your opponent will have to respond to. However, if the Royal Hogs are split, you can reel them to the center with your buildings regardless, no matter how cheap. So place your Inferno Dragon in the center to delay and attack them. You should only use these tactics if your cheaper counters are out of cycle or if your enemy Enemy is really getting a foothold on your tower's health. Graveyard countering. While he's pretty good at dealing with swarms, this factor is a bit situational when it comes to defending against a graveyard. When we discuss about the graveyard in this tip, we will be assuming that the graveyard attack is being used with a mini tank, such as an ice golem. While he does have the ability to strike three skeletons at a time, his hit speed doesn't allow him to clear them out quick enough. I mean, it's better than nothing since your entire tower isn't going to be taken from one push. However, like we said before, the Electro Dragon is a major helper in taking out pushes. He is not a troop that counters entire pushes by himself. If you're playing on ladder, you can use skeletons to assist in either taking out the mini tank if it's an ice golem or taking out the graveyard skeletons too. Think about this, it's going to be way easier to level up your common card skeletons than a legendary graveyard. And when a skeleton is one level higher than the other one, it can tank an extra hit. 
This means that if your skeletons are at least one level higher than the graveyard, they can kill up to six skeletons rather than three. For as cheap as they are, this is some good value. But what's even better than countering graveyard is using him with the graveyard. Remember, his lightning can even skip while locked onto the tower. So if the enemy tries to place their graveyard counters close to the tower, as they usually would, the Electro Dragon will damage and destroy them without the use of spells. Don't forget his other abilities. While his main feature is that he can strike three targets at a time, he also has the ability to stun and reset cards. So don't forget about it. However, combining these two abilities brings together ways of going on offense or defense like you've never seen before. One example would be countering double prince decks. Usually these decks contain a tank and no matter what the tank is, the electro dragon will constantly make the princes behind the tank unable to charge while also striking the tank itself. This same strategy can be used on other zap vulnerable troops that are attacking you. If you're a player who runs a sparky beatdown deck, you know that the Electro Wizard is going to be your biggest threat. So you'll probably be bringing some ground troops such as a mini P.E.K.K.A. or a Goblin Gang to help defend your sparky. However, unlike cards like the Electro Wiz and the Zappies, the Electro Dragon can fly, allowing him to completely dodge those counters. You probably already get the picture, but this ability combo can be used against any troop that charges up. Counter pushing Inferno Dragons, Battle Rams behind mini tanks, it's all going to be weak under the Electro Dragon's electric breath. <laughs> He's an amazing helper in destroying lava loon pushes. His electricity is able to strike the hound, the balloon, and anything else behind them. What's even better about this is the fact that unlike the electro wizard, who has his damage cut in half when he splits up his attack, the electro dragon retains the same damage for all three targets. Also, don't be afraid if the push is supported by air swarms, such as bats or minions. He'll be able to clear them out pretty easily. However, he needs to be protected. After all, he is similar to an ice wizard or electro wizard in the sense that he greatly helps ruin and disrupts pushes and doesn't destroy the entire push by himself. Any good mini tank placed in front of him will be helpful enough, but what about lightning? After all, a good amount of lava loon decks contain lightning. Well, why not try this? Include lightning bait in your deck. This can be as simple as having one other unit that's vulnerable to lightning or centering your entire deck around it, such as having a deck including three musketeers, a lexer collector, and the electro dragon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to learn 15 more tips about this shockingly good card and many other cards in under two minutes each, then please visit my channel to load up on that brain fuel. But most importantly, if you aren't already subscribed to CWA, I strongly consider doing so. His efforts towards supporting his subscribers and the pro community are astounding, and he's getting closer and closer to reaching that sweet 1 million subscribers. So, as always, thanks for watching today on CWA. Alright guys, that's all we got for this video, but be sure to subscribe and ring those bells to both of our channels for more Electro Dragon content coming at you fast and furious this week and in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner, and Ernie C3, my collaborator today. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.